in this video we are going to create our case study to study the effect of adding a new solvent or a new chemical solvent uh, to the existing chemical solvent okay so from whom you go to case studies is the available in the analysis section case study and we are going to add one case study this is our case study we have independent variable and dependent variable for the independent variable here we are going to add or to choose the surge tank outlet concentration okay so we are going here here you are going to look for the surge tank or this is the our makeup as a surge tank the independent uh, the independent variables will be the outlet concentration of monoethanol amine and diethanol amine okay so these our independent um, uh, variables okay these values has a current value of 20 and 0 for the dependent variables okay we are going to search for the absorber here we are going to search for the absorber absorber and from the absorber after checking it you will have a lot of options here we are going to look at a sweet gas our sweet gas concentration of h2s okay h2s this is by BPM and also the, the sweet gas carbon dioxide concentration so CO2 concentration by mole percent okay and here we press okay so what we are studying here our dependent variables is variables that will change after changing the independent variables okay so here we are going to change the concentration of the chemical solvent and check this its effect on the concentration of h2s and carbon dioxide okay so this is our dependent variable and independent variable after that we are going to case study setup and in this case we are going to have a discrete we are going to divide it into parts okay for this grid, you can specify the value of each variable for each case. So, for example, we choose this grid and we are going to create five cases. Okay, so you will have a value for the um, independent variable for each case. Okay? okay, the one that was selected, the one that is nested. Okay, for the nested one, as the name suggests, you have specify the start and the end and each step okay or the number of steps so here we are we have a discrete because we have a specific value for each case that we are going so in this case we are going to have five cases okay and there is another one here okay so they are five cases and for each case we will have a concentration for um the surge tank outlet MEA and M -A M D E A and M E A. Okay. For the first one, we have a starting value or a current value of twenty. Okay. So maybe you are going to uh, to add twenty, fifteen, ten, twenty, five, and finally zero. Okay. So you don't have any concentration here. We start from zero so five ten fifteen and twenty okay so we will end up it, it changing the concentration of them okay so now we have all the values we can run okay <clears throat> after running you will find that there are a lot of calculations here you can check the results from this one this we are having our case one the concentration of DEA is 20 and the concentration of ME is 0 and the concentration of H2S by ppm is 0.5 and for carbon dioxide mole person is 1.4 now we are going to see what will happen in case 2 during the exam it's important to know that the case study takes some time for the calculation 
okay so you need to be patient until the five cases or whatever the number of cases that you are going to, are going to have are finished okay so if the case failed you will have the number of failed cases here okay so you before copying any answer or answering any question you need to check that you have zero failed cases okay uh, again we still have um, case number two uh, is calculated um, okay let's talk more about the case study here we have added the independent and independent variables and here the values is changing okay because now it's calculating for 15 and 5 this is our setup that we chose we chose it discrete because it allow you to specify the values for each case and the, the default for the case study is having it nested because you have examined every possible combination of variable available okay if we go now for, uh, to results again we didn't have our results printed yet for the rest of cases i'll pause and to show you the answers but i just want to give you how uh, the feeling of how long it takes okay now for case number two if we have a 15 percent of dea and the concentration increase of mea we will find out the concentration of h2s increases okay from 0.5 now we are having more uh, h2s actually in the sweet gas and but if we look at co2 we'll find that the concentration decreases uh, this is a, could be explained because as i mentioned before mea is more selective this one the one we are increasing the concentration of is more selective for carbon dioxide that's why carbon dioxide concentration increases but the one that is selective for H2S is MEDA and in this case we decrease its concentration that's why the concentration of H2S increases uh, I'm going now to uh, pause the video until the five cases are printed and I'll get back now the five cases are finished and with the number of failed cases zero so here you can show the succeeded and also the failed okay <coughs> in this case is uh, no fail so all this is our case you can plot the results here this is the section for the plot okay this is uh, your x-axis and y-axis for the results here you will be asked about the concentration of h2s and the carbon dioxide for carbon dioxide the concentration keep decreasing okay so it's good to add a mix of mea to um the um the mix of dea in terms of carbon dioxide but for h2s the concentration at the beginning increase then decrease then again increase two times okay so it's not a good idea to remove mdea or um the dea amine because it it will affect the h2s concentration for ppm is higher than the pipeline specs so this one will be uh, appropriate okay this is for the case study okay uh, there is another way to show uh, the data by changing it like this so here you will have the numbers and easily you can see that the number increase decrease increase increase here the number keep kept decreasing okay uh, this is for your case study again we can change the numbers Okay, for example you can keep you, you mention that you have only three states and before the three states it's from 20 to 17 and uh, 10 okay and in, for this one we are going to increase it three and here we have five and we can run this case okay and again we will go to the results so now we have three cases and it will be filled uh, the calculation will be done okay after doing run here the calculations will be done and the results will be printed here uh, for each value okay um, the point here is you need to understand the effect of the new solvent 
on the removal of H2S and carbon dioxide. So you can do whatever the case study you want with the concentration that you want, okay?